Hey, how's it going? So today we're going to do a different video compared to the ones I've done before, which are typically uh, road rage videos at this time. We're going to go ahead and watch some clips and then I'll go ahead and uh, essentially react to them, give you some feedback and go through there. So let's go ahead and do this quick. So I think this guy's a genius. You take your money bag that you walk in the bank with. Now, when you walk out of the bank, let's say you picked up uh, 50K. 50K is nice and fat in there, right? No, don't do that while you're in the bank and nobody's watching. You pull out your second bank bag. You put the real money that you just withdrew from the bank in here, right? You got the real cash there. You leave it like this. So when you leave the bank, it looks like it's the same bag, but it's fatter. I kind of messed this up, so I'm about to do it twice. So you leave the bank like this. Now they generally follow you home, so you got a minute. Well, as soon as you get in the car, you slip that under the seat. You take your prop cash that you bought from me, and you leave it in the front seat like that. They come to get you. Oh, bro, I didn't know. Take it. All right, so we're back. Uh, first of all, I mean, there might be a few things why you would have to with, uh, withdraw 50K uh, cash. Um, I don't know, maybe it's like a large service, you're paying somebody who's remodeling your home or whatnot. But from what I've seen and, you know, from what I've actually experienced before, I haven't had to withdraw 50K, maybe something uh, somewhat close to that. Um, you can just go to the bank. You can literally go up to the teller and tell them, hey, I'm withdrawing X amount of money because I need to pay for the service. So I need to give it to this person right here. And you can actually make that transaction in there. Uh, you do have to ask um, just to verify, depending on the bank that you're that you're currently going with. Um, but yeah, this seems like a like a lot of uh, steps for you to try to be sneaky. Uh, chances are, if they see you withdraw that money, maybe they'll notice the bag, right? Maybe they'll make you run everything in your pockets and you have to give it to them. Um, just be be safe. Obviously, it's better to just try to pay online, maybe a check, I don't know, something like that. Um, but if you can be even smarter, go to the bank, tell them what's up, and tell the the services, the person giving the services to meet you there, so you can go ahead and do that. Um, I mean, if you want to go ahead and buy all this stuff and, and do that, you can do so as well. As always, I'll be putting their information in the description box. Let's go ahead and move on to the next clip. 15 best Amazon products for this month. This gadget lets you measure curved objects and it works up to 300 feet. This is a self-stirring glass that can mix your drinks automatically. And if you put dish soap in it, it basically cleans itself. These are rechargeable hand warmers that are magnetic, last up to 16 hours, and they can even charge your phone. This chair lets you sit in a few different ways to help your prostate. And it also makes working more fun. This gadget allows you to turn any AAA battery into a AA battery in case you run out. This is a handheld printer that lets you print custom text on any type of surface. Let's, let's review back. Let's go back. <clears throat> uh measuring anything you want i i actually don't see use for this at least for me but i suppose if you're building certain things or you want to build certain things you can use this um let's go on to the next one this one's pretty cool i mean i could just simply use a spoon and just you know leave it at that but i guess i could use this it's, it's not that bad i mean it's useful for sure hand warmers i don't need it hand warmers i'm always always warm this chair is freaky um like <laughs> i could see several uses for it but it probably wouldn't be uh its intended use yeah uh there's a lot of products that already do this i think you can even get like a whole storage where you can get uh double d batteries triple a batteries all that type of stuff so at least for me this isn't needed and then a specific label maker um if you have a business then i suppose it could be very useful um we don't need it for for the one that we have so yeah there's that let's go ahead and continue with the next five 
tracks on any type of surface. This measuring cup has 19 different compartments, so you can use it for any recipe. This is a pizza slide that lets you easily grab pizza from the counter. This is a travel pillow that you can fill up with clothes so you have more storage when you go on vacation. This is a cable zipper that holds all of your cords together and it turned my desk from this to this. This snack bowl fits perfectly on your Stanley Cup and has four different compartments. These travel soap bottles are magnetic and you can change the labels to match what's inside. This gadget has 14 compartments and attaches to your wall so it can dispense your pills all at once. If your cabinets look like this, get these mug stackers that hold two cups together and will double your storage space. Okay, so let's go back to number nine. Uh, measuring square cup. Uh, it could be useful, especially since it's just one device. Um, I don't cook too much, and I already have a bunch of cooking um, stuff that's scattered everywhere. So I probably wouldn't get this product. Uh, putting stuff in a pillow just like that. I have more than enough space in my luggage, so I wouldn't get that as well. The cable zipper is actually one of the ones that don't look too bad especially the build as you can see here it's pretty slim um so it would help out a lot i do have i had a few here um that are a little thicker they're not that slim uh, that i'd still use so that's the only reason maybe why i would switch over to that uh stanley cup snack bowl i i don't have a stanley cup i'm i don't do that i'm not in that trend i know that people have gone a little overboard and they put like a little backpack and all this other stuff for them um i mean cool that's your gig that's that's cool but not for me pill dispenser um are those even pills those aren't even pills right no they're like random stuff i don't need that so i wouldn't use that the mug stackers actually that's one of the products which i might look into just because I do currently double stack the mugs without using that, but maybe this has more support. It might be more useful, or I can just buy maybe like a little um, interior um, dividers, you know, so I can stack them. But yeah, that's that's pretty much this one. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. I wanted to make it nice and short. I wanted to change the topic to a less serious um, topic. Uh, let me know what you think about the format. In other videos, I have basically just, you know, um, played a video and paused as I'm speaking through it. But at least with these type of videos, if they're, if they're short enough that I'll let, I'll let them play and then give my feedback. Um, if it's a lot of products like this, obviously, I'm going to cut it down at a certain point. That way I can go back and comment on it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the, the new format of the videos that I will be doing. And then, of course, uh, I'll go ahead and look at the feedback and keep tweaking it as I go through them. So let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if these videos are interesting. And then, of course, I'll be crediting everybody in the description box. So go check them out. Go check out these uh, products as well. See you next time.